not Bjorn. This is the fabulous Bjorn <laughs> Kulov. Um, That's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how's your summer been, and did you get to watch the World Cup at all? Oh yeah, yeah. summer's been great. Yeah. <laughs> it's the best weather in years. I'm mean, the first summer off, probably ever, but at least the last 15 years. No festivals, no shows, no one-offs or anything. Mm -hmm. it's fantastic. I tried to catch as many yeah. games as I could. Yeah, yeah. I actually caught two games at a time. <laughs> my computer and my TV at the same time. What ones are those? So, uh, well, Portugal, uh, it was... Uh, I followed Portugal, Germany, Brazil, obviously. Uh, I mean, it was fantastic. Sweden was not in the game. Mm. You know, they were not there. So I'm not going to talk about England's campaign on that No, one. and I <laughs> actually saw... We won either. The games, and so let's not talk about it. Yeah, yeah. but it was, it's, uh, even the uh, countries that you normally wouldn't, like, okay, if it's just a one-off game, you wouldn't watch it, but... During the World yeah, Cup, Rica, every yeah. every game was I thought was great, you know, and they played uh, a, a fun, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, offensive, uh, yeah, positive yeah. offensive, uh, uh, positive offensive, no, but positive <laughs> football. I mean, it's, it's like it's yeah, nobody say okay. We can only play zero zero. It seems like nobody. That that's that. true for the, the the group stage because there was so many goals. The, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The average was really really high, and then it came to the, the sure yeah, the yeah. final well, stages. Final stages you know, yeah. seem to like it's to calm down a little bit, but still you mm. had games like Germany, Brazil. Germany, Brazil yeah. yeah, fantastic that that's one. Was one of the that's best one the books. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. really it was fun. Okay, so let's get on to Siren Shams. No, which is the new album. Yeah, soccer is more fun. Let's go go and start with soccer. I know, like one of you is IFK. No. Yeah, um, I, I like. Are you IFK. really? I, yeah, I do. I I'm do. an Arsenal always, fan, so always have Arsenal. Yeah, always have. But Daniel, our drummer, he's like hardcore IFK. Cool. Um, okay, so on to the album now. Away from football. Um, how was the writing and recording process uh, this time round? Well. Uh, it, the writing process first uh, was it's something that takes a while obviously to collect and to gather ideas and everything um, and not to overdo it mm. you know I, I want to have ideas that I can present to the guys and I, I at the same time don't want it to be too Spartan you know it needs to be arranged in a certain way mm. uh, all the guitars need to be at their bass everything the drums but um, that process went on for not quite but almost a year I actually used stuff that I've done in the past and got sort of inspired by that. And, mm -hmm. um, stuff that never made it to records, but I refined it and did better. But that's just a few things. But it, it got me started. So when I had this bag of riffs, what we call it, <laughs> uh, we started working on arrangements and actually making songs out of it. Um, so that, that was a slow and easy process. And I'm usually very lazy. So unless we have a deadline, no. or <laughs> but uh, unless we have a, basically we need a, a date where we book the studio mm. for me to actually get off my lazy ass. From all the same, pretty much. Well, I, I guess most people work like that. Yeah. But, so when when the date is set, um, it's not like I'm panicking, but all of a sudden I actually do stuff. So we started working. Um, people came to my house and listened to the stuff, and we started arranging, and working on it, and, and that's the musical part of it. The first part, and then you can. That was my cue. To, <laughs> okay, I pass this torch. Yeah. To <laughs> get the beer. Uh, no, it's the, the first two weeks in Hansa. We put, uh, took his ideas, the bag of riffs, try to make sense of them. You know, and put all the the whole thing as 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 songs, the framework. So the drummer actually have something to record to, or mm. the bass player understands what the fuck this is, and I can create my melodies and my lyrics and everything. And and so that was the first two weeks, and then I had another four weeks to complete my part, and I had nothing with me, nothing at all. I was a blank paper. So first, I just write phony lyrics to to just get a melody and a, get the phrasing right and such, and then I take those lyrics and and, and rewrite them so that they make sense. Um, and that took me four weeks to create and record and feeling happy about them. And while I'm doing that, the other guys are recording their parts. Yeah. So we work in two, two studios. And okay. then it's, uh, so when I'm done with one song, I go to the other guys, check this out, you know, 
you happy? Cool. You're not happy? Fuck, Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but well, it's an interesting it, way yeah. of doing it because it's like it's cooking and brewing everywhere in the mm. building. You know, it's the stuff happening down there in the, in the vocal studio, stuff happening up there with bass being played or guitars or you know, everything is developing as we and nobody mm. really knows exactly what's going on. Yeah. I'm putting it all together towards the end of recording that song. It's really, really interesting. I've noticed that's been happening more, especially within like the episode of World of Metal, like, you know, people staggering the recording rather than it just being like you know, vocals right at the end, you know, you have to do like what a week just to kind of blast but, but it. It's so wrong. We did that in the past and mm. it's it leaves no room for vocals. Yeah. Yeah. Vocals have over the years, maybe because it wasn't space for it or we weren't ready in, ready or into the idea back then, but it has grown to be a very, very important and integral part in the music. So Nowadays we try to scoop out stuff to leave room for vocals, and that needs to be done early. You can't do that in the end. Mm. You know, and, and well, it's such an important thing when it comes to melodies. It's, it's one of the most important things with within flames. We love melodies. It's important, mm. but it doesn't necessarily yeah. need to be from the guitars. And earlier on in our career as well, I had all the lyrics done. Just, okay, here here are the words. I need to cram them into yeah. this song, and that will obviously affect the melody because mm. and you cannot you are not open to melodies at the same time because these words need to fit here you know, now I think melodies all the time that's why I write those lyrics that don't mean shit to begin with just to it, it could be I take a, a, a CD cover or a newspaper just words doesn't make sense it's you get the phrasing, very, yeah. yeah you're phrasing so mm. then I get the melody and that's something I started with on uh, Sounds of the Playground Fading that was the first time and now I feel that's the right way to go Cool. Um, and what did Nick bring to it this time around? Well, this is the first time I actually recorded with us. Mm. Um, he didn't really write anything, but he's good when it comes to arrangements and stuff like that. He's, uh, he's a very inspired and inspiring guy. He loves to play the guitar. You know, he loves music and in every way. So bouncing ideas off of him is a, it's very rewarding. Um, so he, he was part of that. And uh, his picking not to get too nerdy, but his guitar playing is very precise, very accurate. Uh, thrashy picking. Mm. Extremely, yeah, thrash is a good word. Like, it's very exact. Yeah. And I'm not. <laughs> I'm very sloppy and, you know, it's, I'm from the 70s, so it's different. But certain riffs and certain ideas needed that precision to to feel right, to get the right vibe and everything. So, mm. so we brought in Mr. Wolf sometimes, and he recorded certain and stuff like that. So he was part of the recording, definitely. Cool. Um, and the lyrics, like what inspired you for the lyrics on Sirens? Pressure and stress and <laughs> all the good stuff. <laughs> being alone in Berlin and I mean, I the whole idea of being in Berlin was just to see if we can get inspired by the, the city, the atmosphere, being away from family, friends, distractions and whatever, you know. And uh, I can't, I can't ride at home anymore, you know, I, I need to be by myself. I can't have my kids run around and then, then focus on, on, on the lyrics. I can't, can't write good metal, metal lyrics while I'm barbecuing. <laughs> or, uh, you know, it's, uh, things are good. Yeah, no, things are good. Yeah, exactly. Things are too good, you know, in a way. So, um, I was watching that documentaries about people in bad, poor situations, drug-related issues. Uh, see what happens to us as human beings when or, or why we end up in such a situation if how we can possibly leave you know mm -hmm. and so on so I use that and uh, it's a source of inspiration I don't there's no drugs or anything in the, uh, the <laughs> lyrics uh, or used while recording but uh, uh, but there's alcohol. Uh, but uh, but it's uh, it's it's it's. Uh, I needed that to, to be inspired to feel in a certain way. I think the whole experience of being, as you said in the beginning here, I think the whole experience of being alone, which you never are in Berlin, but being mm -hmm. there on your own, not being close to home, your loved ones or friends or anything. Um, it's. Um, it, in the beginning, it, it wasn't terrifying, but you know, it's it's different. It's not like being on the road, mm -hmm. because on the road you just travel around, with this traveling keg party basically, and and play shows, which is the most fun thing in the world. But being in a studio, having to walk 25, 30 minutes every day in cold, walking through 
Berlin, very grey, you know. And, yeah. And, uh, culturally, historically, very overwhelming sometimes. You know, it, it actually did something, you mm. know. It's not, it's not what was planned, but I think it's, it was, <laughs> it was exciting. It was yeah, even for, for years, for, yeah, I was sure <laughs> that, yeah, going to Berlin, yeah, fuck, we can record anywhere. Mm. Then Bahamas or Gothenburg. Or Bahamas is the next one. Uh, sounds nice. Yeah, <laughs> maybe maybe I, maybe I dropped that. Our reggae album will be recorded yeah. in Bahamas. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's technology reggae. today uh, enables us to record <coughs> anywhere, yeah. basically. And and with not much um, affecting how the outcome would be. But Berlin did affect mm. what happened. It, it's a certain vibe that we couldn't catch anywhere else. Okay. So, yeah, it's interesting. I, I couldn't put my finger on it before, but now it's a melancholy that we've never been there. Mm. I was saying to Anders earlier on for the next question um, about the evolution of the band, and is this something the like evil evolution? The evolution. Evolution. <laughs> um, is it something you actually consciously think about before going on, or do you think we're going to write how we feel and then go from there? That's what we do. It's we only write what we like and what we haven't really tried yet. We, we have a meeting, right? We sit around the table and say, okay, how are we going to piss off as many people as possible? And yeah. then I thought, okay, I got an idea. Are you with me on this one? Yeah. And then, yeah. No, but it's just... It's, the process is yeah. the same as it always has been. The, the influences are the same, or the inspiration or ideas are the same. They've always been the same. But what, what's intriguing and, and challenging sometimes is it's, it's not doing the same thing. You know, it's, mm. you have the same basic materials, but you want to create something slightly different, something that goes a little bit outside the box, that challenges us live, because that's where we want to play the, the songs. We do an album, in my opinion, maybe not his, but an album we do that in order to be able to tour. You know, yeah. touring, yeah. <laughs> the touring is, for me, not the most inspirational, but the most fun part mm. of being in a band. Meeting all these people, hanging out with friends, best dudes ever playing, uh, listening to your own songs while playing them um, in slightly different clothes compared to what they were on the record. Mm -hmm. um, so for me it's a, it's, a, it's a means to be on the road, maybe not for you. Uh, or is it? Yeah, no, no, I, lo I love recording, I love creating, I love going into a, into a situation with nothing, into a studio and coming out with something complete like that you feel 100% happy with but yeah I love the road as well but the, I mean it's it's like you and I talked about off camera a little bit before it was like the the chicks <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the drugs the rock and roll. Uh, no but it's like I don't wear the same clothes as I did 20 years ago mm -hmm. I changed you know my music it changes uh, that and that's how I want it to be music should it's free it's you can do whatever go whatever <clears throat> it shouldn't stand still um, and I don't want to do the same thing again and again and again. I don't want to compare to what I've done before because then it will be that experience will be not be as good. You know what yeah. I mean, um, I, I don't want completely change. I want people to recognize my music. But I think whatever we do, yeah, people we will say, "Okay, that's in place." We, because we, we have, we can get away from. We that. have a unique expression. We have something that nobody else has. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't, and I don't mean it's better or 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 worse or anything. It's because that's something completely different. It's just like we made something that say people say, okay, that's in place. We create our own path, and wherever that takes us, I have no idea. There won't be a reggae album though. There won't <laughs> be a country album. It will always. Damn. I mean, metal is the closest to our hearts, but we try to bend and twist and turn as as, as much as possible. That's a good answer to that one. Um, <laughs> how is it important for you guys to have side projects? I know you've got your record label, Frequency, and... Um, That's a beer company, actually. That's a beer company. Yeah. And 2112 restaurant. I think they're important to an extent, but it's it's never the focus. Yeah. Family comes first. Mm. Yeah, that, that's the only thing. And after that, it's in place. Cool. And it will always be. And everything else... It's kind of enabled thanks to In Flames, because uh, we don't need to nine to five office desk jobs mm. or anything like that. We have when we're off, we're really off, so we have time and possibilities, opportunities to to actually do something on the side. 
I would, that's fulfilling. Yeah. Mm. I would go insane if I didn't have anything else to do. I mean, I need things to do. Yeah. yeah. That keeps... It makes me... <laughs> how is that? To focus better on Inflames while yeah. I'm doing Inflames. You know? And then I'm doing something else. Off, I'm not Anderson in Inflames. I'm, I don't have to, you know, do mm. this or that. And then it's more fun when we're on the road. It's more fun yeah. to go into studios. It's more focused. Yeah. yeah. It's a good. It's a good pastime. It's like hobbies. Yeah, I was gonna ask that. Like the next question was gonna be like, what are your hobbies outside of music and obviously outside of the well, say side projects? I work with my hobbies. I mean, it's like pretty much music was uh, is still a big passion. And I I started playing music because I want to be part of this. I I want to understand how how you make it. You know, I love mm -hmm. beer. I want to understand how you make beer. <laughs> I'm. I like whiskey. I'm really interested in how you make whiskey. Mm. I want to be. I, I, I want to learn everything about it. He's the I've, nerd in the band. I've had, you know, I played in a band. I've been singing in a band. I, I had a, owned a studio. I still have a studio. One is we sold one, but I have another with an, a friend. And and uh, I, I've been producing bands. So what do I do? Okay, I work at the record company. That's the next move. Yes, so I, I've been everywhere. I want to mm. know about everything. Uh, I could sit still and do nothing, but that would just make me. Oh, probably. I like barbecuing and beer. TV, yeah. yeah. He's not yeah. Swedish, he's American actually. <laughs> I want more beer. Barbecue, love more beer. Um, like more beer. No, and, and painting, drawing, reading, movies, you know, the regular stuff that you use as a mm. recreational just outlet. An outlet or even an input as well, yeah. you know, something that cleans your mind for a bit. Mm. Okay, got two questions from our Facebook followers. Um, first one's from Corey Maloney. Um, are there going to be any plans to do a live DVD from the upcoming tour? Actually, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I mean we want to. Yeah. We want to capture uh, this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I mean that's, that's a good answer. Yeah. yeah, yeah good very, answer. very good answer. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely. It's uh, we've done one. Uh, in the past, that was really good. I'm really happy with it. And plan is to do another one. Mm. We just don't know when. We just know how. Uh, our ideas are there, but there's so much live on YouTube, and we yeah. want to make something real that yeah. actually sounds good and 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 you know looks. But it is in the in the in the pipeline. Yeah, in the pipeline. Yeah, that's yeah. a good way. Of putting it. Cool. Um, and last one, uh, Alan Provenance um, asks if you'll ever expand twenty one twelve into like the US or oh, maybe over US. here, so. What they did. Yeah, that's the idea. Because yeah. it's it's a nice place to hide. Yeah. And that's the, the whole point with it. There's no greater plan than there's no place that we would like to hang out in. So let's create that place, you know, basically. And of course, but that's all in if there's time. Fair enough, cool. Thanks so much, guys. Cheers. Cheers.